friends, have you ever heard about the internal environment or homeostasis? These are the two terms which we come across in the very first chapters of our physiology book because these are the basics of our physiology. Let's first deal with internal environment. About 60% of adult human body is of fluid. Of this, most of the fluid is inside the cells and it is called as intracellular fluid. And one third of the fluid is outside the cells and it is called as extracellular fluid. I have represented here the extracellular fluid with blue dots and intracellular fluid with red dots. This extracellular fluid have some properties. First one, it is in constant movement throughout the body. Second one, this constant movement is possible because it is transported rapidly in circulating blood. Third one, it reaches each and every tissue of our body by diffusion through capillary wall. We all know that blood goes to each and every cell for the supply of oxygen. This extracellular fluid along with blood goes to every tissue diffused through capillaries and surrounding. Here I have drawn the last part of every artery where the arterial ends into venule. Here you can clearly see the diffusion of extracellular fluid and the extracellular fluid surrounding every cell of the tissue. The last and important property of this extracellular fluid is that it has the nutrients and ions needed by the cells for maintenance of cellular life. From all this it is evident that each and every cell of a body is surrounded by extracellular fluid. That means all the cells of our body live in the same environment. So it is called as internal environment. The internal environment is nothing but extracellular fluid. This term was coined by the great French physiologist of 19th century Claude Bernard. Now it's easier to understand the term homeostasis. It means the maintenance of static condition in internal environment. All the organs and tissues of a body perform functions that help to maintain the static conditions. For instance, lungs provide O2 to the extracellular fluid so that it can continuously supply it to the cells whenever they want it. The kidney maintain the iron concentration and GAT provide the nutrients. All these oxygen, ions, nutrients provided by different organs will be present in extracellular fluid and it supplies to the cell whenever it is needed. If all the organs cooperate for homeostasis, it is called the normal functioning or physiology. If not, if there is any deviation from homeostasis, then it is called as pathology. Please do subscribe my channel FJ Medical videos for more videos.